Good morning, Lincoln Lions. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. Happy Tuesday. We have a birthday today. Today is Maverick Poland's birthday. Happy birthday today, Maverick. Hope you have a wonderful day. We have our fresh fruit and vegetable snack for today. We have the mango. Oh, some fun mango facts. Mangoes are one of the most popular fruits in the world. Um, mangoes were first grown in India over 5,000 years ago. Wow, mango's been around for a long time. Uh, mango seeds traveled with humans from Asia to the Middle East, East Africa, and South America beginning around 300 or 400 AD. Um, let's see. Ooh, a basket of mangoes is considered a gesture of friendship in India. A mango tree can grow as tall as 100 feet. That's pretty tall. Let's see, what else can we learn about the mango? Okay, one cup serving of mangoes is 100 calories. Mangoes provide 100% of your daily vitamin C. Pretty good, so let's give it a... Mmm. Yummy mango. I can't wait to hear what you think about the mangoes today. All right. Our um, character trait for the month of October is responsibility. And a huge shout out to Miss Brabham's class for um, giving me a couple of examples of a Frayer model. Everybody want to say that with me? Frayer model. So that is this kind of graphic organizer, right, that can help us with vocabulary. And so you can see here we got the word responsibility. And this is Emma's and responsibility. Her definition is doing what you're supposed to do and being accountable for your actions. Oh my gosh, that's so important. Um, and let's see, she says some of the characteristics. Ooh, keeping roar cool, um, hands to self, totally. Being appropriate, yes, right? Um, an example is um, right here, see this? Oh, I love this because this kind of goes along with our Mr. Brown's precept for today. And it looks like somebody's noticing that someone's not okay. She says, are you okay? No, but thank you for asking. All right? So checking in with people using our voice to make sure others are okay. Um, some non-examples. We don't call people um, mean names. We don't be rude to our teachers, right? Those are not examples. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another great example. Van. So again, doing what you're supposed to, being accountable for your actions. Oh, and look at his picture here. What do you see happening in that picture? Looks to me like they're playing some basketball. Maybe somebody's taking their out, passing the ball. Great examples. Thank you, Van. I'm going to hang these up. Um, let's see. What else do we have? A couple more. We have Kaya, also from Miss Brabham's. Oh, this is a great example. See this one? Somebody left trash on the ground, and this person is saying, I will clean this up. So responsible. Nice job. Thank you, Kaya. And let's see, here's another one. We've got Mason who has a list. Being respectful, doing my schoolwork, cleaning up after myself, helping others, and listening to all the rules. Great examples, guys. So teachers, as you have more examples to share, make sure to give me some copies and I can share them on the K-Roar. So speaking of our um, character trait for responsibility, our Mr. Brown's precept, again, going along with that, having a voice and speaking up, even when maybe um, it might be uncomfortable, is this. When the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. 
and remembering you have the responsibility to be that one voice. So if you notice that something is happening um, that you know isn't a good idea, we had that happen yesterday with some students who were not making the best choices during a rainy day recess activity and um, others watched it happen and didn't speak up. And so part of being responsible is saying, hey guys, that's not cool. We're not going to do that. And that even if they're not listening, that you can get an adult and report that something is happening that shouldn't be. That is being responsible. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll stand for the flag salute. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I hope you all have a wonderful day of learning. I'm so glad you're here. I want you to think about today. Again, oh, I'm so glad I just remembered. It's Tuesday. Thank a teacher Tuesday. I have forgotten that for weeks on end. Students help remind me. Um, so take a minute today and think of a teacher that you're thankful for and make sure that you let them know. Thank a teacher Tuesday. Have a great day, everyone.